Hi guys, Rob A46 here, welcome yourselves back to Mojo GP24 on the Xbox Series X. Let's continue with career mode. We finally got our first win on the Aprilia at Cota. It was a good race, um, even though I didn't actually feel overly comfortable on the Aprilia around there. Um, we still managed to get our very first win at Cota on Moto GP24. Haven't won there at all, not even in Moto3 or Moto2. Definitely not on the Yam either, so to, to take our first win at Cota on the Aprilia was uh, really good. So we go to Hareth next and then we have the test at Hareth after that. So off we go. It's all going to be dry. Let's do it. Okay, so qualifying. Let's see what we can do around Hareth. Team has just finished preparing the bike and the Banyaya again in Q1. So is my teammate Vinales. This should, in theory, be a good track for the Aprilia. But we'll see. We will see. Nope, oh, already wide at turn one. Oh, that is very wide there. It hasn't been the best of laps this first one, but it's still going to put a time on the board, so that is fine. Wow, don't touch that outside curb because your rear will not be on the ground. Okay, that was better turn one. Okay, a lot of inside curb there. So 35-4 for Rins on the Yamaha. We're half a second off at the moment.
They're not going to make half a second up on this lap. No, too hot in. So 0.6 off now, because Miller has done a 35-1. I don't really want to be this close behind Zarko. Just let him go. Too hot under turn two. A lot of mistakes on this lap. Oh no, front's gone again. Moved up to 16th again. So that's me done, 16th again. Can quite make up that last little bit. Ahead of Bang Yaya though. My teammate ahead of me though, but didn't get through either. Okay, of course we're going to go soft, soft. Ah, for tank of fuel. Excellent. The riders are lined up on the grid with Marquez on pole. Right, pretty up. Let's do it. Here we go. Of course, Bagnaio got a blinding start on that factory Ducati. Had a Yamaha right in the way there. All I'm doing is trying to. Well, I was trying to follow my teammate Vinales there, but uh, he completely outbraked himself. Sorry, Franco, but you're in the way. 
Mark. Marquez leads away at the moment. Right, a pretty uh. Wide. We struggle to get on the podium in the sprints at the moment. Come the actual Grand Prix, we're there. Okay, my wide cutback did not work because uh, we've lost a place to Franco. Now we're back in front of Franco. Not able to get past Jorge Martin at the moment. need to stop doing that because it's obviously not working. Come on, Aprilia. This should be your territory, but at the moment, it's not working. Know what the hell that was all about? Okay, much better run out, much better lap as well. Okay, we're up to fifth. We haven't got long to try and catch the guys ahead though. Okay. 
stop it. Actually, that helped me turn in that massive moment. It's funny because on the Yamaha, I think the final sector was probably my strong suit. On the Aprilia, I just can't take the lines I want. Definitely not going to get any higher, unfortunately. Oh. Oh. Uh. Yeah, this is the final lap, and I just cannot... We're closing, but... It's not enough at the moment. Digi and Fabio Quattro very wide there, but not enough for me to do anything. My fastest lap on the final lap. So yeah, fifth place. 34-9. Mark Marquez wins 34-3 for a leash, but he's last. Okay. 15 points again, so it's not too bad, but we really need to uh, beat Binder in the main race again. Still leading the teams, 10 behind a cat in the constructors. Right, so we will go soft soft for the main race as well. Certainly does. Marquez on pole. Right, here we go. Oh, oh, sorry, Frankie, they're in the way again. Try to Battle it out around the outside of me, but it didn't quite work out for him. Right, we're already up to fourth. That is good. Digi Antonio just ahead. The front two already starting to uh, try and pull a gap. Third. Right. What can we do here then? Because we are already getting into the territory where they pull away a bit. Took a lot of inside curb there, which actually didn't work too bad.
Oh, it's a bit too late into turn one. Still made up a little bit of time. That is very wide there. The thing is, if these two start fighting again, they didn't, didn't really fight in the uh, sprint race, to be fair. They pretty much kept as they were. Like that's a little bit wide, but not enough for Binder to get through. That's a mistake from me, that's let him off a little bit. When the Aprilia just starts to wheelie in between corners, it's uh, making my job a bit more difficult. Like that. Stop getting on that outside curve. They're not a million miles away. Oh, that was much better in a turn one there. And turn two. Okay, took liberties there. Wasn't actually trying to get Brad Binder there. Oh, Marquez on the inside, Binder was on the outside. corner cut. What I put ride height device on there I do not know. Oh. That's too wide. Way too wide. Still past Binder though. No. Didn't mean to go down the first there. Oh, Binder is back through. Not for long, mate. All this is doing is allowing Marquez to get away. Binder, what are you doing? Alright, come on, we need to stop Binder attacking and uh, try and close back in on Mark if we want to win. Oh, Binder's gone! Binder has crashed, so I've got no pressure from behind. Now I can just concentrate on doing some laps. Oh dear, to Brad Binder. Digi Antonio's in third. So as it stands, I will take over the lead in the championship.
Don't know what happened to Bender, but he obviously made a mistake. Just on the fastest lap of the race. Right, we're nearly back with Marquez now. It's taken a little bit of time. Very deep there. Cap still about a second though. away a bit on that one. Binder's actually out, well, I just realised that. She got many laps left. He's looking. Got two laps to go. Oh, Oliveira's just crashed. Oh, Banyai has gone down as well with Oliveira. 
Obviously coming together there. Mark deep again. Trouble is, I don't think I've got enough pace to actually close this gap anymore. We're a little bit wide there. One more lap. In second place is as good as I'm going to get. Unless he makes a mistake on this last lap. I don't think he will. taking that wide line there but in between here and here he uh, pulls away this next corner he pulls away Oh, a couple more have gone down. Well, Marquez is going to win. There we go. Second place, but more crucially, in a few minutes, the top three riders will arrive. That will be a uh, podium ceremony. In the meantime, let's the championship take a look lead. The so fast this lap went to my teammate Vinyaz. A 34 3. Joking, ain't ya? Miguel Oliveira, Banyaya, Brad Binder, all DNF'd. See a Digi Antonio. I'm guessing it was him and Jorge Martin on the final lap who uh, both crashed. Right, let's see what happened to Binder then. So, he came through there. Got back up the inside of him by forcing the door open. There he is, just behind. And I'm pretty sure it's not this corner. I think it's coming out of the second right-hander. Oh, he just lost the front. I think he just touched the kerb on the inside. Yeah, touched the kerb on the inside, lost the front. Down he went. And that was him done. So, championship now. Look at that. We are now five points in the lead. That won't last long, but I'll take it whilst we can. Extended our lead in the team championship. And uh, only 15 points behind Ducati. But uh, in fact, they extended that by another five points. So, yeah. Did a good job. A really good result that will give him some optimism for the upcoming races. Yeah, and we've got a test here next. So that should be alright. Okay.
All good. We beat Vinales as well. But yeah, that was a huge gap from um, myself in second to third place. There's no one who can compete. You just have to watch him take to the podium and give him a well-deserved round of applause. Yeah, like that gap was, yeah, it basically stabilised around one second. Could not really close it down anymore. As much as I tried, I couldn't do it. Okay. Team roll. We are now at leader at a pretty up. Okay. Yeah, well, is what it is. So, yeah, the test will be next up. Um, it's not actually giving me my results for uh, her F that. Bit weird. It's probably because uh, it won't go up until after the test. Be interesting to see where we are on the team comparative after the next test. I'm expecting Prima Pramac to be a bit higher, especially ahead of Yamaha. But we'll see. Um, yeah, overall standings. Moto3. Pekeras now leads the way by a single point uh, from Ivan Artola, who moves up five positions to second. Uh, Matteo Batelli is up to third, only two points behind. Detvara is up to fourth, only four points behind. And Watley is down three places to fifth, only six points behind. Top 11, separated by just 16 points. So, uh, yeah, very, very close in Moto3. Moto2 is pretty close as well with uh, Celestino Fietti uh, regaining the lead of the championship by two points from Senna Aegis, who moves up to uh, second position. Mazia drops down two places from first to third, but only seven points behind. Daniel Holgado is up three positions to fourth, but only eight points behind. And Manuel Gonzalez drops two positions to fifth, but only nine points behind. The top... Wow. The top 15 separated by less than a race wins worth of points at 24. So uh, very, very close there. And in MotoGP, I've just taken over the lead in the championship uh, from Brad Binder by five points. So not a lot. Mark Marquez is up two positions to third, but he's 31 points behind me at the moment. Morbidelli drops down to fourth, 33 behind. And Pedro Costa drops down to fifth, 53 behind. So it's uh, tight at the top. But um, over the next few races, that is uh, definitely going to change again. But anyway, guys, that is it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel for more content. I shall see you guys in the next video when we go testing at Hareth. See you.